What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over Destiny 2. So something big that's been going around the Destiny 2 community right now is the topic of AFK Forge Farming. Now if you don't know what that is, go ahead and I'll show you. So right here we go to the EDZ and you got these forges. Now if you lower your power level to 750 or below this apparently makes it better like it's easier to farm I don't know exactly the reasoning and your reward for sitting in the forges and doing nothing is you get umbral ingrams and they actually increase your power level which is pretty crazy that Bungie didn't think about uh, their sources of umbrals so right here you see you got two other people just AFK forge farming having a blast see you got some really pro players here all you gotta do is just sit in this forge for a minute and guess what you get a free umbral ingram so I'm gonna just go ahead and kill myself right here because you're gonna die anyways Apparently it makes it go faster with the power level because you just die immediately. Apparently that's what you want. The pro players have said that it's kind of stupid that this is in the game and that people are just sitting and doing the forges. And the reasons they're saying that is because they're the ones that they play this game for a living. They record, they make videos, they do everything revolving the game. They actually try very hard like when day one comes out dungeon came out this season and people grinded to get their power level and then there's these people they just sit and all they do is just sit in this forge people just sit in this forge and get these umbrals which literally gains your power level for absolutely no reason now you also get other stuff in your postmaster as well so it's not just the umbrals you get mats you get blues you get tons of stuff and like I said, the reason these people aren't liking it is because it gives these players that really don't do anything, they just get to get up to that high power level, which some people that play this game pride themselves in. They get max light level within a week, within like five days of the new season coming out, and then you've got casuals coming in, and all they do is just play Fortnite and then have this running in the background you can get max power just by doing this for probably like a couple days you do, wouldn't even have to do anything and that upsets a lot of people okay so here we are on twitter right here go ahead shoot me a follow dr mango on twitter you already know so we'll start off with imtast right here he uh tweeted this today while you were afk in your forges i was granting strikes while you were getting rewards for free i was earning my light and then as the darkness seven doorsteps you'll have the audacity to ask for my help pathetic yeah that obviously that's what i was saying in the video earlier they just the fact that they have to earn their light and they feel obligated to go and do that and then people can just sit and do nothing and get the rewards it makes the pro players a little angry now we go ahead look at sweatsicle really well respected pro in the community right here he talks about um, another way to get guaranteed ingrams by actually playing and then right here again he asks Bungie to disable the forges or at least fix it and then here's one but I need to level sweat and he makes a really good point here tell me you have 100 days left to level for the fall expansion and you're just trying to justify afk farming and then right here puts a little statistic you can literally average 30 minutes a day that's not very much on destiny that's very little for 60 days and hit 1050 without farming for according to his math which i'd believe him he's a pretty smart dude when it comes to destiny but um most of the, this is really what the pro players are saying they're just saying the game isn't funded by people doing this they'd rather people not go and do these things and actually have a challenging loot system or challenging enemies in the game and then we'll go over here to glad now 
Vlad responded to this. He didn't really say much on Twitter, but right now he currently is streaming. Go ahead, pull it up. He currently is streaming himself AFK farming. Not even joking. Look at that. He's just sitting there AFK farming. But, um, yeah. 63% of all activities in the last 10 hours were failed forges. Not very cool, especially with like the story of this season. The fact that people aren't actually wanting to play makes the pro players a little angry. He uh, replies to his meme right here by Rukakis, explaining how in Destiny 1, people had to grind to upgrade their things, and then Destiny 2, people have it easy in this game, and the pro players aren't liking it. It's way too casual, which has been a problem for the last couple of years in Destiny 2. Well, it's gonna go ahead and bring us to the end of the video. Once again, if you guys like this kind of like informational, kind of like going over topics and games, I'm gonna be streaming uh, the new Fortnite event tomorrow. So hopefully we are able to do that and it doesn't get delayed again. But I will see you guys in the next video.